the Washington Castles, the top team in the Eastern Conference taking on their arch rivals. The number two team in the East, the Boston Lobsters. And in the first event, it was men's singles, the big serving marquee player, Mark Philippoussis. They call him the Scud Missile as he took on Bobby Reynolds, the American veteran from the Castles. This one went to a tiebreaker, and in the end, it was Reynolds clicking on all cylinders as he takes men's singles 5 for the final for the team from the nation's capital. And then the next event, the second of the evening, women's singles. And it was Martina Hingis, the Hall of Famer, just recently inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame two days prior to this matchup. And she took on the American star, the 39-year-old Jill Krabis, who hails from New England and East Greenwich, Rhode Island. This one was heavily contested, but in the end it was Hingis battling from the baseline, working all the angles with her precise game as she wins with one break of serve, 5-3 for the Castles, taking their second straight event of the evening. Then just before halftime, the Boston Lobsters took on the Washington Castles in men's doubles. And it was Mark Philippoussis and the left-handed serving ace, Eric Buderak, who also hails from Boston, as they took on Bobby Reynolds and the legend from India, Leander Pays. The Lobsters played very inspired tennis. Philippus is serving huge bombs, followed by amazing poaches and putaways from Buderak at the net. In the end, the Lobsters take care of business and finally win their first event of the evening, 5-3 the final in men's doubles going into halftime. So that left it to two final events, women's doubles and mixed doubles. In women's, it was Jill Krabis and Caitlin Morosi playing for the Lobsters as they took on a very talented team with Anastasia Rodianova and the Hall of Famer Martina Hingis. And what do you know, Hingis hustling all over the court and finding the range for winners up the line and also cross-court putaways. She was on fire. Rodianova Nova served excellently as well as it was the Castles taking care. 5-2 for the victory in women's doubles and that set up the final mixed doubles event of the evening. No problems for the Castles tonight as it was Morosi and Buderak facing Pays and Hengis. And how are you going to beat Pays and Hengis? Two of the best doubles teams of all time. Leander was clicking with a few winners from the baseline and also up at net for the putaway. Martina did her job as well, clicking on all cylinders, hitting the angles up the alley, and also firm wrist up at net for a few volley putaways of her own. It was the Washington Castles prevailing 5-4 in a tiebreaker to take the final event in mixed doubles. And the final score was 23-18, the Washington Castles beating the Lobsters for their second straight win over Boston this year.